Good morning, I'm Harlan Asmus, sales agronomist for Asmus Farm Supply at the Rake, Iowa location. It's July 7th, 2022, and I'm joined in the field here today by Delaney Lensing, Corteva sales rep for North Central Iowa. Our topic today is going to be the performance of Enlist, specifically on water hemp. And we're standing in a soybean field that was planted May 16th, and a full rate of pre-emerge herbicide was put on May 18th. So it's going on seven weeks now since that was applied and it has worked very well. On June 21st, we came back with a quart of Enlist 1, a full rate of glyphosate, and a residual group 15 herbicide in the tank. So we're 16 days since that application. And we're gonna take a look at some of the larger water hemp that escaped our pre-emerge herbicide. So Delaney, let's, let's look at these water hemp. Uh, they were over four inches when we applied it, but unfortunately that's real life in some instances. We see one here that is very dead and doesn't show any life for recovery. Right next to it, maybe a slightly taller one when it was sprayed. Yep. Um, kinked down, but the concern is, and one of the most common calls we're getting at the office now is, What's going on with this seems to be lively stem here. So why don't you make some comments about that? Yeah, so one thing as we're assessing any of these um, fields after they got sprayed is like Harlan had mentioned here, so kind of keeled over, looking down towards the ground, not coming back up. Um, as you begin pull that to out. pull it and look at it. Um, so one thing you can kind of see as you look, so you see the width of the stem here. And as you look down towards the soil line, right at that stem at the soil line is what we like to look at. Um, if you kind of just give it a push, you can feel it's a little bit squishy, squishy. in there. Yep. Um, one other thing we do when we're looking at that is are there any new root hair development? So uh, you kind of look for the really fine root hairs that come off of these main roots. I'm not seeing a lot of new white development on those roots with those really small hairs. So that tells me it doesn't have good root regrowth right now. Um, and then the other thing too, if we would cut this open, that stem is gonna be brown. So back to where you have this stem cut open now and you take a look at it. So it is white from a distance, but as you begin to look in there, you see those little lengths of brown coming through. Um, so that's another good sign that we look for. It means the root is actually beginning to die through that stem. Um, and that's one thing too with an Enlist product as a group four, it is a systemic herbicide. So that's one thing we maybe take a little bit longer to kill why maybe at seven days you're gonna be, okay, the weeds are still green out in my field, you know, kind of what's going on. It's a systemic herbicide, so it has to move from those growing points above ground down into the roots and it has to kill the roots. Um, so that's one thing we like to see that. Like I said, you know, you're a little bit squishier up here. We kind of start to swell right at that soil level and then we begin to get brown through that root system and starting to die. So now let's look at this. Then here's a little different situation where you've got maybe a little bit larger weed you can see where when it was applied, maybe about right here, when it was maybe a four to five inch weed, again, started to curl over and look down. But sometimes on these that you might see right in here, there are some growing points that did not die. Um, and one thing I look for is when you maybe get that shepherd's crook and it starts to come back up towards the sun, those new growing points, that is regrowth since we've sprayed and coming back up. So yeah, I mean, a great example here for looking at- it Pulled a how, lot harder than the last one. Yep, how swollen it is, a little bit right there. But this is what I'm talking about. You see these really white new roots here. That's, it's plant's defense basically to start regrowing. And so it was injured, but that's its recovery mode is putting out those new white roots. And as you can see kind of along the top- And look how brown that stem is that broke down at the bottom here. Yeah. That's squishy. Yep. This doesn't seem as squishy as the last one. Yep. So then, yeah, as you kind of start to, you can see maybe some new growing points within here that are just forming and coming up back towards the sunlight. Anything that looks like it's facing the sky, that's the concerning phone calls we're getting. So what's the recommendation on a weed like this? Should we retreat it? So something like that, as you see, so some these smaller ones here, this plant doesn't look the healthiest to me yet. Um, one of my recommendations is kind of wait and look. It does take some crop scouting um, to see and view some of this information. But 
One thing that I like to see before, if we decide we need to respray, one thing I like to see before that is good regrowth. Um, Cause it's kind of like, you know, getting kicked while you're down. You know, if you're down, you're not going to be able to systemically um, take that herbicide again and not necessarily going to get a good kill. So you like to see that good new regrowth when it's coming healthy before you would respray. But like I said, that's something where that newest growth doesn't look quite the healthiest to me. There are some new growing points on it. Might be something where you'd maybe want to wait, watch it for a few more days. If it continues going, that's where we probably need to make that phone call to decide if we're going to respray. Thank you for your advice. If you have any additional questions about this sort of symptom, call your Asmus Farm Supply agronomist. Thank you for joining us today.